Hi guys and welcome back to another Draft Champions video and in this series the goal obviously as every other YouTuber's goal is is to try and get the highest rated draft on YouTube and today we have some absolutely insane drafts that are definitely some of the best drafts that I've seen going anywhere on YouTube and stick around for the last draft because that one is definitely the best out of the three that I have in the video. So going to start off Sean Smith here absolutely loving his card in my other series shameless plug if you haven't seen that definitely go and check it out because it's really a lot of people who are subscribed really enjoy that series but back on with the draft here three really good picks from another elite round we got William Gay brilliant lockdown corner but I've never used this west card and it's got 97 duke move which is nothing to be sniffed at and I absolutely love the duke feature when I'm running in this game as I'm sure a lot of you guys know so for me that's a huge pick up all good picks again here with another elite round thinking about Jarius Bird but I'm going to go with Tamba Harley there just to get a good linebacker into the team and we got CJ Mosley here as well it, it's a no brainer for me I mean we could get the lineman in there but CJ Mosley just he's too versatile to pass up and at 96 rated he's high rated in absolutely everything Eric Wood there Good centre, could have gone with Yanda, but I'm more than happy to go there. It would just to lock up a really important position on the line, I think, centre is. Because if you want to run up the middle, having a good centre, if you don't have a good centre, you can't do it pretty much. Going to go with uh, Alex Boone there. Could have got his higher rated card, but we'll definitely settle for that one. And could go with Sanu here once again as well, but Kobe Fleen, those stats, all in the high 90s except run block. And his card, for some reason, just plays like a glitch. It catches everything, it can outrun people who are quicker than him is just so good so I'm definitely gonna go with Kobe Fleener in there all these picks none of them you know gonna set the world alight but I'm just gonna go with the cornerback just to bolster up the the cornerback slot a little bit and three Super Bowl players here really good Super Bowl round Aaron Rodgers for some reason doesn't get our overall any higher even though he's 21 ratings higher than Cutler there but we'll go with him and once again, no phenomenal picks. We're going to go with Crowder there. Who manages to put our overall up? So Aaron Rodgers must have been really close to getting us a higher overall there. These three positions could go with Julius Thomas, but we've already got a tight end. So I'm going to go with Davis there and just beef up the linebacker core that little bit extra. So hopefully, you know, we'll be a lot more versatile on the defense. But if you guys enjoy this type of series where I just do the drafts, I mean, there's no gameplay in this video, unfortunately, but where I just do these drafts, let me know down in the comments below, or let me know if you'd rather see just one draft with gameplay or a video with a lot of good drafts in it. It depends on what you guys want as to what I will upload, so let me know down below what you want in regards to that. But, coming towards the end of this draft, you can see we've already got a really nice overall, we're already up to 85, and we've got Glover Quinn in there as well, and this round... Clinton Portis, very good card, but we needed a wide receiver and we managed to get Tory Holt, 93 rated, who we're very close to getting an 86 overall there, very close, but we just missed out on it, we're going to get an 85 overall, which is still a very good overall for a draft, I mean it's a, above average, I think the average probably would be about 82, 83, and that's a really good draft, as you can see, 86 offence is definitely nothing to be laughed at, and it's going to be nice and easy for us to win a draft with that. But moving into the second draft here, also guys, if you want me to, if you want to see a gameplay with any of these three drafts, let me know in the comments as well as to what one you want to see gameplay with, the first one, the second one, or the third one, and I'll probably put a gameplay out for that over the weekend, depending on, on what one you guys want. But moving into the second draft here, starting off with a gold round, so nothing spectacular like the last one, starting off with a few good elite rounds. Going to start off a bit slow in this one. Got Matthews there. We've got Brandon Flowers, who really good player, but unfortunately uh, on Madden, he's just not tall enough as a cornerback. He's, he's only 5'9", so the spec catch just beats him, which is what everyone does in this game. And that's done, definitely something I'm going to be abusing there with Woods. Looks like a really good, really good card. This pick here, Ben Jones and Demonte Dawson. If you look at them, they're very similar. I mean, the stats, near enough identical. So, wasn't sure who to go with. Probably going to go with Demonte Dawson, just because he gives you that legend sort of aspect to the team, and you can get a few more legend cards in than you otherwise would have. Back to the gold rounds here. Annoyingly, would have really liked to get a few more elites in early on in the draft, but all these picks, once again, aren't great 
cards, annoyingly. I'm going to go with Shea Ray just to beef up the linebacker slot. And this, this draft's very weird. As you can see, we're going from really good pick to average pick to really good pick. And we managed to get Aaron Rodgers Super Bowl yet again. Very, I'm not sure why I just kept getting the Aaron Rodgers Super Bowl card in these drafts. Not sure if that's happened for a lot of other people. I haven't come up against him very often, actually. But really good, really good quarterback in the game. Probably going to go with a lineman here. Steve Smith Sr. Unfortunately, the same as Brandon Flowers. Just a little bit too uh, too small in the game. But to make up for that, we got the 95 Doug Baldwin. Arguably one of the best receivers this year. I think statistically he is the best receiver this year. I could be wrong on that. But phenomenal card. And we're definitely going to pick him up. TJ Lang as well. I mean, just bolstering up the line never hurts in Draft Champions. A lot of people don't rate getting linemen. But personally... I love getting linemen in draft champions. I just think they make the world of difference. If you have a good line, you can really tell the difference when you're running the ball. Because it's it's just, if you have a good offensive line, it's really hard for someone to stop you running the ball on them. And that's what we're doing this draft. As you can see, we've got four elite linemen up to this point. And we already got a right guard, already got a left tackle. So I'm going to have to go with LaFell there. Wasn't any other choice. Probably would have gone with him anyway, just because of how good his card is. And CJ Mosley turning up again. We needed a linebacker, and he's going to shore up everything over the middle there, which is really good for us. See, uh, this wasn't the best draft in terms of good good, um, good people everywhere, but we definitely got a lot of high-rated people in a, a lot of important key positions. As you can see, we definitely needed the defenders at the end there with Jason Taylor and CJ Mosley. Otherwise, the defense overall would have been terrible. But this is probably the draft you all have been waiting for. It's the best draft of the episode, in my opinion. It's the best draft overall wise, so definitely sit back and watch what we end up getting. Start off with a huge signature round there. Isaac Bruce, 97 rated, plus two spec catch. Not even a question in my eyes. Navarro Bowman considered it, but I don't think you can get a better choice in the signature round than Isaac Bruce there. Also going to build up the line. Like I said earlier, you guys know I love building up the line. And Tyler Eifert's team of the year card... One of the most underrated cards in the game, in my opinion. He's about he's under 20k for a 93 rated tight end who, look at all them stats above 90. So many good stats above 90. Insane red zone threat. So definitely going to pick him up. He's someone who's close to my heart because I used him earlier on in the year as a gold card. And he was absolutely insane because I love throwing to the tight end and he barely ever dropped a pass. Julius Peppers there. Definitely going to pick him up for the linebacker slot. Always love having at least one good linebacker who can help if I'm being bossed in the run game. And Julius Peppers is definitely one on that. And JPP can also definitely help with that. We get another insane signature round here. Ed Reed, look at them stats. I mean, I'm just going to go on about the stats for quite a few cards in this draft. But if Ed Reed, that card is just... It's probably one of the best strong safeties in the game. Actually, it might even be, besides the Golden Tickets and the Ultimate Legends, the best strong safety in the game. Another insane Super Bowl round here. Wasn't Aaron Rodgers quarterback, but we're going to go with Drew Brees just to mix things up a little bit. And we definitely did need a quarterback in the draft. Once again, a lot of good picks. We need a cornerback, so it could be Roby or, or William Gay. Both very good corners. Roby's a little bit faster, though, rather than sort of a, a zonal interception corner that Gay is. So I'm going to go with Roby just because people love to throw long, deep balls on draft champions and hopefully he'll be able to stop that. Unfortunately, going through a few gold rounds here, if we hadn't got these gold rounds, our overall would have been at least two higher, I think. So we would have got an insane overall if it wasn't for those two gold rounds. But Mark Ingram... Not sure how he's only 92 rated. His Easter card has ridiculous stats all over the board. And definitely going to pick him up. And to finish off the linebacker core, we're going to get Johnson in there, who seems to get so many interceptions for me. A lot of people don't rate his card and say it's one of the worst elites in the game. Definitely haven't seen that for me. He always gets picks. He always makes plays. And for me, definitely one of my favourite linebackers. And to finish off this one, would have loved to get that Ronnie Lott, but we already have Ed Reed. So... No reason to get him. We did need a running back, however, so Terrell Davis will definitely do a job for us there. And we get an 86 overall draft to finish things off. Not the best draft I've ever got, but that 87 overall offense is definitely one of the best offenses I've ever had in draft champions. And I'll go into the team just to show you how 
good the team actually looks. Like, you can see on the screen there, I don't need to talk about it. Just have a look and see if you can find a fault in that, because I can't. But if you guys have enjoyed the video up to this point, smash a like on the like button as I said. Comment down below on the things I discussed earlier in the video. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for another Draft Champions video.